Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 23rd through to the 29th. I want to take a moment to wish you all a very Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate. So let's get on with your reading, Taurus. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Empress in the upright, followed then by the uh, Nine of Wands reversed. And next we have Major Arcana, the moon in the reverse, followed then by Major Arcana, lovers in the upright. And lastly, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you, Taurus. First of all, you have the beautiful energies of the Empress in the upright position. The Empress is all about feeling perhaps really abundant. This could be you, your, how you're feeling this week, or this could be someone very important that you're dealing with. The Empress can represent a mother or mother figure, uh, a head of a company, that kind of thing, a CEO. This person is a, a matriarch, a person in a position of power. Now, you could be dealing with this person. This could be uh, someone who's giving you aid or helping you out this week, being showing a lot of compassion, caring, understanding, but she is also connected to abundance. So for some of you, this could be representing a family member. This could be representing a friend or a boss um, giving you a leg up, a, a heads up, <laughs> something. But this person could be of great assistance to you, unless this is you yourself and your own energies in the uh, Empress. And it's beautiful no matter how you slice it. And coming right off the hop, we have the Nine of Wands here in the reverse position. The Nine of Wands in the upright position can point to uh, this is the Wounded Warrior card, fighting many challenges, ready to fight another day if we have to. It's strength and reserve. When the card is inverted, however, it's good news because this points to peacetime. This is where, at least at the beginning of the week, you'll feel like you don't have to deal with challenges. For some of you, it could be because this Empress energy, perhaps this person is taking uh, some of your troubles off your plate or your uh, worries or what have you. This person is really being of great assistance and uh, bringing at least peacetime temporarily to a situation. Now, this could be in a relationship for some of you. Others, of you this could be representing career work what have you finances and um and the card that it's uh, next to is the uh, uh energies of the moon in the reverse position the pisces card the moon in the upright position can point to misunderstandings illusions deception self-deception that kind of energy when it's inverted, however, this can point to gaining clarity on a situation. Again, could point back to this empress. Maybe this person is bringing clarity to you and helping you to understand. Maybe uh, a misunderstanding gets um, straightened out, that kind of energy. Really, really nice. And then moving towards the weekend, we have another major arcana here. You have three major arcana. Looks like an intense week uh, for you, Taurus. You have the Gemini card here now in the upright position. This is the lovers upright. This is all about a choice or a decision. Now, for some of you, this could be on the romantic front. Perhaps you're having to choose. Now, we can always choose to love. We can choose not to love. We can choose to take our relationship to the next level or choose to leave it alone. There's a lot of choices when it comes to love and romance. We can choose be choosing between two uh, different people, whatever the situation is. But it's not always romantic. This can also also point to business partners or choosing between two different uh, companies or something like that. There's an element of choice here and it could come up uh, perhaps suddenly even maybe now because the clarity is here and now you understand that you have these other options. And the last card you have up is the beautiful energies of the Ten of Pentacles. You want to see this card. This card's always welcome in any spread. The Ten of Pentacles in the upright position, again, points back to abundance, which we see already here in the card. So the Ten of Pentacles can represent sometimes an inheritance, a gift, a bonus, that kind of thing, extra money that comes from wherever sometimes you don't even know that it's coming it's just a surprise a beautiful welcome surprise others of you could represent you're getting a pay raise you're being offered a job that pays really well it can also represent uh, someone in the household perhaps uh, getting a pay raise or someone getting a job say a grown child or something and now they're able to contribute to the household what a fantastic reading here for you taurus
this. And in closing, I'm going to be pulling a Zodiac card to see uh, what um, extra messages or a Zodiac sign that could be very prominent to you this week. And we have Moon in Aquarius, Free Spirit. So your inner world or your inner wild child awakens so that could be the message for you but aquarius sun moon or rising could be important to you this week and also in closing i'm going to pull a chakra wisdom oracle card to see what other messages are around for taurus so let's see what's happening here for taurus we have destiny oh my goodness that's beautiful destiny maybe all of this abundance is your your destiny now <laughs> taurus so that is your reading i hope it helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise i'll see you next week bye bye